Yeah, hi guys, how are you doing? This is Agu in Kizi. Don't forget to follow my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. So we see this man we see here. His name is Senator Adeyemi Smart. He's a, he's a senator in Kogi West. And also, he prepared to run for governorship candidate for Kogi State. Our people say, what goes around comes around. And uh, whatever you sow, that is what you will reap. If you appoint person with one hand, don't forget, say, four hand they point you. Yes. Because, say, the evil way you do, one day will surely come back to you. Last week, Saturday, they do APC primary election for governorship candidate. Nine, the incumbent governor will be Yaya Bello. Come play this man. Come do this man, why you? Come go use and write result. As a right result, free now, they call the result. I know people call the result. Present results in a Yaya Bello person, nine win. Now, this man come the holler, they para, they shout. Say, no go agree. Say, they do why you? They no do election. So this man do interview four weeks ago. They ask him how he takes the presidential election and governorship election would they do for Nigeria. <clears throat> he said the presidential election go very, very well. Say Tinubu win the election. Say Labour Party or obedient people where they shy with the para. May them relax. May they come back 2027. Come campaign again. Come out for another election. Say this one. No going back. APC don't win the election. The God said, okay, what about the governorship election? What they do for Lagos? We didn't disenfranchise people for no come vote. He said, that one, then vote. The election go peaceful. It go well. Nothing like rigging. Nothing like dis disenfranchise. Say, this now, Labour Party, they forge all those things. Say, everything go very well. <clears throat> he said, the election... The governorship election go very well for Nigeria, even that Lagos State way then they say that it's disenfranchised people. So now he can't reach yesterday. Now they call the interviewer. They call they bring out those with the with uh, those questions with the answer. In fact, arise and channels will not do well. Thank you for the interview. Now the arise people call the answer. Chip in say make everybody forget anything will happen for the election say um, now so it's supposed to be anybody with their grief make it wait in next election and they thought say if you're able to nine person anything you're able to do you go accept them say you're able to nine guy so why are you calling the para now if i make one listen to what this man talk now go laugh there i say now what do you sue now what do you go rip yes Please don't forget to follow my Facebook, share, and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay? This is Agui. I love you guys. I'll keep on bringing update to you. One love. Share, please, okay? Share. Of the vision. Yeah. That this, the outcome of the election has left. And so those who have said, look, Nigeria may not have been, I mean, it's, has not been this divided and there's a need for healing and reconciliation. What do you say to that? There, there's no doubt that uh, once there's an election, there'll be uh, a kind of um, sentiment and division. But over the three years, I mean, over the months, people are almost getting um, um, uh, uh, settled over the, the, the result. Some people assume what they anticipated was not the result they got. So you can understand the do you human feel, Do you have this feeling that there is a lot of anger in the land? That Nigerians are upset? That many people feel um, out of the equation of the nation called Nigeria? See, I speak, I speak my mind at any point in time. And let me tell you the truth. I hold the view that this election was free to a large extent, better than previous election. And those who are feeling bitter, they just have to wait for the next election. The fact of the matter is, this guy, the two, Ashiwaju and Shetima, they're just the popular ones, I mean, contestants, and they won. They have, do not have baggages and issues that will warrant people not to believe them. Ashiwaju has built his reputation, his image over the years. He has built men. He has, he has a track record of service. Shetima is one of the best men I have met in the Senate. I'm a third-time senator. And I can tell you that Shetima is one of the best. 
highly, highly celebrate. Okay? And when you meet such people, you cannot but give in. So those who are upset for now, we can understand. I'm, 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 I'm not even talking about opposition yeah. party yeah. versus the, the party that won. I'm talking about the average Nigerians. And I'm asking, as a senator, yeah. uh, do you have that sense that there is a lot of anger in the land? A lot of people feel that they are, they are, they are calculated out of the, the, the national calculation of Nigeria. Maybe the privileged, some, some privileged class of people who had their business calculation with the opposition. Don't forget, Nigeria is such a complex society. When you see some people taking position, they're doing that. You don't think that poverty not, is not, pre prevalent? Poverty is part of you it. You don't think that but it was not there the are reasons, economic your, and moral well, reasons course, why, at, why that, people are agitated? From that perspective, yes. But don't forget that we have a global economic recession. Don't forget that until your recent, what was the, 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 the pump price of petroleum products, the crude oil, for instance. Nigeria was totally down. What was our production capacity? Nigeria was down. Don't forget that under this outgoing ad administration, at the time, the crude oil, oil was selling for $10, $5. So, so over the years, in the last few... You don't feel that there's, became, a, there's a failure of the political system in Nigeria that's causing the anger. I, 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 I don't said so, let me just go to the point. In the first instance, there was no election as far as the, the senator, uh, primary election of uh, the APC was concerned. What happened in Kugi was criminality, was um, a new phenomenon of um, electoral math practices. I have never imagined that in Kogi state we could have an election, I mean, we could have a result without voting. All of us, about nine of, eight of, eight of us, apart from probably the man that was anointed, none of us had the privilege to vote. In essence, there was no voting anywhere. What they did was to write the result. It, it was a sham. It was a rape of democracy. It was a disgrace. It was a betrayal of all those who laid down their lives for the entrainment of democracy in Nigeria. I've heard of rigging. If there was voting and, and, and we, we alleged rigging, okay, we'll say we were rigged out. But in this instance, we were at our polling unit at our world, um, uh, world headquarters, um, secretariat, there was no material, nobody. What they did was to invite the chairman of the local government areas, including those of them who are said to have been suspended, were recalled three days to the election, and they were given the matching order, collect the materials from the, from the panel that came from Abuja, and they went to their closets, and they filled the forms, and brought some 10 people, 15 people within their compounds and their areas, and they said they have voted, and that that was the result. Why we were still standing at our various world, we contestants talking to each other, it is 11 o'clock, it is 12 nobody, 1 p.m. nobody. We were there till 2 o'clock when we started hearing result of election. It is unimaginable. This is a new phenomenon that must not stand because if Kogi State get away with this, other governors will copy it. There was no election. Ask my colleagues. Ask the security service. Ask the INEC people, except they want God to descend on them. There was no, no voting. We didn't see anybody. Send your reporters to do an investigation. Fine. There was no election anywhere. What they just did was to pack the material, hand them over to the chairman, because the chairman have been told that they have to work towards ensuring the Auditor General of the local government. Now, the Auditor, Auditor General of the local government had, is a big man, and uh, you know, all the resources, management of resources of the local government is, on, is, for, is within his poverty to monitor and to ensure whether it was properly used or not. That is a different issue I don't want to go into. But let me just tell you that, Ododo that you talked about, he is the cousin brother of Yaya Dozabelo. Ododo is from the same world, the same pulling unit, the same community. In a state like Kogi, nobody is good than his own immediate cousin. Not just that, within the same world. Now, I can do here. like this. Let, let me come in here, please. Let me, let me come in yes, to please. ask you a question. So in 2020, uh, you yes, had please. spoken about your support for the governor of Kogi State, Yahaya Bello. 
In fact, you had mentioned that you would support yes. whoever he was backing and you would accept it as the will of God, that you were not interested in, you know, you're a progressive man, so you would accept whomever the governor would anoint. That was a statement you made in 2020. Then in 2023, following the elections, the gubernatorial and presidential elections, you had said that this was one of the first elections you had seen. Even though what you're saying now sounds a lot like what the opposition parties claimed post that election. And you said that anyone who was aggrieved should wait till the next election cycle, 2027. They should stop making a noise about it. Would you take your own advice on this, on this matter? 